that's what it is. But I did yeah. do this uh like that remix though. I think that's what you was wanting to lead oh, into shit. and shit. Let me see. You got the uh-huh. like that remix. I don't believe Gay jumped on the like that remix. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We gonna take this pussy nigga out. Oh my god! <laughs> you hearing it first on the download? Just a boy respectfully gay, nigga. Oh. Stop, won't stop. I just put your bitch in a Sean John tank top. <laughs> Run that shit hold back. Up, hold up. Run that shit back. You no know way I had to get the hooligans up here. We're gonna it's take this up. pussy nigga out. Yo, Dada. Avengers shit. When Ye come on some shit. Oh, it's really up. Oh, it's really up now. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you like. Yeah. Oh, my God. You heard it here first on the download. Damn, yay. What yeah, ma- yeah, hold on, hold on. How, how did this even come about? Who called who? I, I need the story behind it. Yo, look. Look right there. Your friend is trying to say hi to you. You good? Oh, shit. It might be the op. Yeah! They squabbling out there now. Yeah! Girl. Hey chat, I'm I'm under good authority. This is I'm under good authority. Drake wrote everybody's verse. Drake wrote AI Tupac, AI Snoop, and of course his own. Come on, ain't this the goat? The nigga had to go get some West Coast legends in AI form to give this nigga a pep talk. God damn, that boy just in the room, just hitting his head with a with a number two pencil, trying to figure out what to write, nigga. He writes slow, and we keep saying, I keep saying. He make moments, he don't make great disses. Drake on his head again, and I'm also hearing he might catch a third one before he drop, for real, for real. Drake not about to keep this beef going for 20 years. Drake tried done homie before the summer. Summertime vibes is different. We ain't gonna keep going back and forth with the nigga who too short to get on amusement park rides. We're trying to done homie this week. Oh, no, wait till May, and then after May, Nigga, we not beefing with this nigga all year. You had a song for four years. Put the shit out. Oh, it's been like, it's a week now. He ain't putting shit out. Hit that nigga again. Drake waited because he thought that on the seventh day, maybe this nigga was going to come on some spiritual shit. On the seventh day, he rose from the ashes. I don't know. The nigga just ain't rain shit. Drake had to hit this nigga again. Yo, the nigga is, yo, Drake is so bored, but so ready. He started writing for dead people. All right. Let's try this AI shit out. Okay, all right, I'll write some shit for him. God damn! Kanye West has jumped right into a rap feud by releasing a remix of Future and Kendrick Lamar's diss track titled Like That. The remix, named Like That Remix, takes direct shots at rappers Drake and J. Cole. Kanye shared a preview of this track on an episode of The Download, a show hosted by his friend Justin LeBoy. During the show, Kanye played the beginning of the song live, which includes a line from the original track by Future, Kendrick Lamar, and Metro Boomin. This line has been seen by many as a comeback to Drake and J. Cole's popular track First Person Shooter, sparking a significant online rap battle. Although Kanye only played a snippet of the remix on the show, a more complete version seems to have leaked online. It's still unclear whether this is the final version of the song or if it's fan or AI generated. However, if it is authentic, Kanye is quite harsh in his lyrics against Drake and J. Cole, rapping, y'all so out of sight, out of mind, can't even think of a Drake line. Play J. Cole get the pussy dry. Play this shit back 130 times. This line leaves little room for interpretation, as Kanye is clearly targeting his rivals, and he doesn't hold back. Kanye hasn't shied away from the controversy surrounding the song. In fact, he has continued to stoke the fire by posting a not safe for work meme about J. Cole on social media platform X, adding to the frenzy. He also hinted at more music coming soon, so fans should be on the lookout for his next release. It's important to mention that it's unclear whether Future, Kendrick, and Metro Boomin have approved this collaboration. Kanye has faced issues in the past for using samples without permission, so it's wise to remain cautious about assuming he's on good terms with these artists. This release marks a significant moment in the ongoing feud, and given Drake's history, a response could likely be on its way soon. In a related note, let's quickly look at what has been happening with Drake. Nearly a week after Drake and Rick Ross exchanged disses, Drake dropped a diss track on his Instagram titled, Taylor Made Freestyle. 
In his caption, he hinted at anticipation, saying, while we wait on you, I guess. Interestingly, in the song, he incorporated AI versions of Tupac and Snoop Dogg, who indirectly call out Kendrick Lamar, urging him to step up and release more music. Two hours after Drake dropped a diss track that took aim at several artists, Rick Ross didn't waste any time responding. He initially shrugged off Drake's track with a laugh in an Instagram story while he was in the studio playing a beat. Then, just two hours later, Rick Ross released his own track in reply. His response was impressive. Let's check out how he kicks off the track. Drake, meanwhile, has decided to stop staying quiet about all the drama and the shots fired at him. The rap scene is buzzing with activity, especially after Metro Boomin and Future's album threw jabs at him, and Kendrick Lamar announced himself as the top rapper, targeting both Drake and J. Cole. Drake is now hitting back hard. In his latest song, he goes after everyone who has criticized him, including Kendrick Lamar, Future, Metro Boomin, and The Weeknd. He's definitely not holding anything back. For instance, he pokes fun at Kendrick's collaboration with Maroon 5 and mocks The Weeknd's connection to Toronto. Drake also suggests that Metro Boomin should stick to producing and questions Future's worldwide popularity, all while boasting about his own status. Drake's new track is loaded with aggression and confidence, sparking lots of excitement and discussion. It's still uncertain whether the track is genuinely his or created by AI, but it's certainly causing a stir. If it turns out to be real, it could provoke even more fiery responses from the other artists involved. The rap feud continues to heat up as Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole also make their moves. Kendrick initially targeted both Drake and J. Cole in his song, which added fuel to the rivalry. J. Cole fired back with a strong verse in his latest track, critiquing Kendrick's more recent works compared to his earlier albums, and cautioning him about the dangers of chasing too much fame. However, the dynamics of their feud took a surprising turn at Dreamville Fest, where J. Cole unexpectedly apologized to Kendrick on stage. Now, everyone is eagerly waiting to see Drake's next move in this intense rap battle. This entire feud began with a track last year, where J. Cole mentioned the big three in rap, including himself, Drake, and Kendrick, and raised the question of who the top MC might be. Drake hinted that the battle for the top spot was just between him and Cole, seemingly excluding Kendrick. Kendrick responded strongly to this slight. Kendrick challenged them to confront him directly, instead of merely hinting in their lyrics. He boldly stated, Mother Big Three, it's just Big Me, suggesting he's not just one of the trio, but in a league of his own. He went on to critique their music and likened himself to Prince, proclaiming that his legacy would outshine theirs. Kendrick's assertion that his work will remain relevant longer than theirs was a direct challenge to both Drake and J. Cole. Then, everyone awaited Drake and J. Cole's responses to Kendrick's pointed remarks. J. Cole was the first to reply with his track Might Delete Later. In a fiery seven-minute verse, Cole begins by referencing a phone call he received about someone using his name for attention, clearly referring to Kendrick. Cole warned of the repercussions of seeking such attention and critiqued Kendrick's career path with sharp lines. He commended Kendrick's earlier projects but criticized his more recent efforts, likening them to the decline of The Simpsons. Cole continued by comparing their careers and remarked on the lengthy intervals between Kendrick's releases, suggesting that without these controversies, Kendrick might not be talked about as much. While prepared to defend his standing, Cole also showed respect for Kendrick, indicating he didn't wish to escalate the feud but would stand his ground if necessary. At Dreamville Fest, instead of intensifying the feud, J. Cole took an unexpected route. He publicly apologized to Kendrick on stage, shifting the dynamics of their conflict. After releasing Seven Minute Drill in response to Kendrick's disease, Cole used his festival performance in North Carolina to address the issue. He spoke about feeling good and doing things his way, but then moved on to talk about his new EP, Might Delete Later. Cole expressed pride in his work, but admitted he was conflicted about the diss track directed at Kendrick, calling it the lamest thing he'd ever done. He shared with the crowd his internal conflict when everyone expected him to react to Kendrick's provocations. Despite the public's desire for a fierce rap battle, Cole confessed he held no real animosity towards Kendrick, whom he has always respected. J. Cole was incredibly open and honest while on stage, even mentioning Kendrick Lamar by name and admitting that his previous diss track was a mistake and somewhat foolish. Reflecting on this, Cole shared that it reminded him of a time when he wasn't making the best decisions. 
he sincerely hoped that Kendrick hadn't taken the diss the wrong way. Standing in front of his audience, he asked for a chance to make things right, not just with Kendrick, but with everyone who was listening. Cole expressed his desire for forgiveness, eager to move beyond the drama and return to a more positive path. He also mentioned that the last few days had been difficult for him, feeling terrible about the whole situation. So there you have it, everyone. Here's a summary of the ongoing rap feud saga. It all began with Kendrick Lamar making the initial move, which led to a chain of reactions, including Drake's sharp diss track. The plot took an unexpected turn when J. Cole publicly apologized to Kendrick, adding a new twist to the story. What happens next in this saga is anyone's guess. With Drake recently stirring things up again, we might see further reactions from Metro Boomin, Kendrick, and maybe other rappers joining the mix. The rap community is filled with anticipation, waiting to see how everything plays out. Will there be more diss tracks? Will the feud escalate? Or will cooler heads prevail, leading everyone to move past the drama? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, this rap beef has captured everyone's attention, and we're all eager to see what unfolds next.